Welcome to the Delhi Sultanate Bug Tier List. That's right, there are so many bugs for Delhi. We had to sit down and make a tier list for it. You can see here in the Discord, a, a list of all the bugs in detail were posted by BLB, and this tier list generator was uh, created by one of our community members down here. I think that was also BLB. So that's what we're gonna be going through. And be honest, it is such a, <laughs> there are so many bugs, I have to like, be looking at this list on the side to make sure I am reading the correct one. So we'll do the best as we go. Definitely the, going to be the most unique tier list that you may have seen. And we are live on Twitch. Say hello to uh, to YouTube there, Twitch. They can see you. So uh, the, the idea of this tier list is S tier is going to represent the, the biggest negative impact on Delhi. So this is a bug that's really hurting Delhi right now versus... Uh, you know, maybe not a really big impact and it might be kind of tricky as we go through because some of the some of the bugs are just funny And there's some that are like truly like oh, this really hurts So um, we're gonna go through now you do notice there's like two for the spearmen That's because there's multiple bugs for spearmen. So I'm gonna read out the description as we go um, And this isn't gonna be any particular order. So uh, we'll, We're just gonna kind of read down this list and try to remember which icons go with what with which bug Unfortunately, we can't just put like giant lines of text here. But anyways, uh, this should be fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this format. Kind of like a more satirical tier list, but uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing this. So let's get into it. So the first bug we have, uh, I'm just going to read you out to either description for each of these. The Tower of Victory is bugged and is not granting attack speed to man at arms. It is granting incorrect amount of attack speed, attack speed to the rest of the units. Okay, so that's gonna be this right here. Here's our Tower of Victory. So this thing's bugged out at, for Man at Arms, it straight up doesn't give any attack speed. And as I understand for the other units, it's not the correct amount of attack speed. And I think where I'm going to put this is even considering like this thing is definitely bugged. I think there's a difference between, you know, the landmarks being bugged and the fact that some most of the Delhi landmarks are just terribly designed and terribly balanced, even if this was working as intended. So for that, I still think that I've 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 stand by the Dome of Faith is the way to go. Even if this was working 100%, I still think Dome of Faith is probably the way to go. Um, so I don't think it is a huge a huge impact for this bug to be happening. I almost would have even put it in C or D, to be honest. I don't think I'm even going to put it in B. We can come back to it. But I think I'm going to put it in C. I think it's solid C. Uh, it is some impact because it really makes this basically use useless. But I don't think it is overall like changing how Delhi plays right now. I think people maybe may, would be more likely to try it. But I still don't think it would be more valuable than the Dome of Faith. So there we go. Our first bug, the Dome of... Uh, the, uh, Tower of Victory bug not uh, improving uh, d uh, attack speed correctly. Okay, let's go in the next one. Hisar Academy sometimes bugs and stops generating the right amount of food per minute. Okay, so that's this one. Oh man. Well, and, and this is gonna. I'm gonna stand with the same stuff I was just saying about the previous one. Is like, even if this was generating thousands of food in the imperial age it's just a poorly designed landmark where every other civilization has landmarks that are generating gold gold or trade rates or whatever it might be like generating food late game that's like the least like the the easiest resource to get typically um so it being bugged i don't feel like is what's making it so terrible i think it'd be even pretty bad if it did what it's supposed to do even though you could still trade it uh but I do think it's a little bit more impactful than this because at the late game, this could potentially at least be something to choose because there's some civs where you just straight up don't even want to pick Tower War Elephants. Tower Elephants, I guess they're called now, right? Um, where maybe some resources would be helpful um, just because Elephants can be countered. Yeah, I, honestly, I am thinking C. I'm thinking C too because I think it just doesn't make that big of an impact even if it was working correctly. Uh, Snoop says he would pick it over the Tower Elephants. Yeah, I I mean, yeah, but that, that doesn't mean it's a good landmark. It's just because they don't have any... Like, the options are just terrible. Like, if this thing generated gold or even wood, I would say this would be a lot better. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm going to put it in C right now. I don't think it's that impactful. I, I think this maybe still is the would be the better option than generating the Tower Elephants, but it's just not, not that great of a landmark anyway. So, this isn't that huge of an impact. I wonder what's going to end up going in D tier. We'll have to see. Um, we might come back to some of these. Okay, on to the next one. 
Uh, the tower elephants aren't being affected by the blacksmith attack upgrades. So here it is. Tower elephant. I'm just going to set it here. This isn't my, my rating. Tower elephant not being affected by the blacksmith attack upgrades. You know, I think this is definitely a higher severity because this is a, a unit you're supposed to use. Um, and not getting those blacksmith upgrades is pretty big because it's supposed to be like one of the unique strong units for Delhi. That we know just tower elephants in general, elephants get countered so hard. They're, they're hard to effectively use. I'm going to go with, I think B, B tier. I would say it would be a higher tier bug if elephants were actually more relative in the current meta but elephants are just so hard to counter so easy to counter i don't think their blacksmith upgrades would make a huge difference um sure make it a little better but so yeah i think the the not getting the blacksmith upgrades i think it's b tier it's a little more impactful since it is like your military um i think b is a good spot so there we go uh on to the next one Zeal is broken, lasting too short and granting less attack speed or not attack speed <laughs> at all. You know, I haven't paid close attention to this one. Uh, okay, which one is Zeal? It's this one. Yeah, let's just set it here. Uh, so it doesn't give you the correct amount of attack speed. Wait, it grants less attack speed? Like, it literally slows down your attack speed? Is that what you're telling me? Or it's just not doing as much as it's supposed to? I, I, I cannot confirm. I haven't thoroughly tested out Zeal. So this is, by the way, where you get this tech, your scholars are able to uh, uh, empower or whatever, your inspire your, your military units and supposed to give them attack speed. Uh, doesn't look like anyone chat really knows either. So I'm just going to say, I don't think it's a huge impact. I, maybe it could be really good. I, I, I think I'm going to put this in the C tier impact. I, I, it's not something I've really... If, it's, if I haven't really noticed it, or maybe I'm just, you know, naive to it, but uh, not noticing it, it's not very impactful. C, I would even argue it could maybe be... Like, I think this is probably higher, actually, than landmark. I might even put these landmarks down lower here later. We'll see. I'm going to stick uh, Zeal there in C tier. Um, on to the next one. Keeps inside... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This one. Keeps inside Delhi influence are getting their research time increased by the scholars instead of reduced. I think we might have our S tier bug right here, guys. Uh, this means when you have, uh, if so, keeps they, the biggest reason, the, the biggest technology for keeps is you can get the tech to turn them into uh, it's like town centers essentially. You can train villagers out of them, so you can do some kind of like villager boom. And if you go up with the compound defender, you're building these at 600 a pop, you could have three four keeps and really start pumping out some villagers late game the technology by itself takes five minutes to research which is a long you're, like you're not supposed to be researching any daily text at their full rate it's supposed to be slow because you need to have some scholars and they're free so assuming that you have some scholars it's not supposed to be five minutes it's supposed to be shorter but right now scholars have the opposite impact on this research time so instead of decreasing that five minute time to, to get your upgrades it would then make it i mean it could be as long as 40 minutes 60 minutes whatever you want if if you have you know scholars inside of mosques connected to your network it's going to increase the time and crazy and you might not even notice it You're like why is this taking so long to research uh and actually the way to use keeps right now with this bug is you need to not connect them to the network which is counterintuitive to what you're supposed to be doing so, by the way, those patch notes are the previous ones. I will upgrade uh, that that night that fits bot command here soon. But that, that's the previous patch. So don't worry about that yet. So, because of this, I think this is a pretty bad bug. I mean, it's crazy. A tech can cost take tens and tens and tens of minutes. It could take a half hour plus. Um, and you need to be connected. To this like you need to be able to uh, attach your your Moss network, your Moss Wi-Fi, and uh, get the Moss Wi-Fi in the chat, guys. You know we got the Moss Wi-Fi icon. Now that we're partnered. Uh, the, we need to have some mosque Wi-Fi uh, in the chat, and uh, I think it's S. I think it's our first S tier bug. You can only build keeps inside enemy base, anyways. There we go. There's that mosque Wi-Fi. Okay, on to the next one. Since last patch, Del. Whoop! I lost it. Since last patch, Delhi spearmen are bugged and aren't capable of bracing against cavalry in any circumstance guys this is a big bug uh they just 
They just made it so that spearmen could brace automatically against enemy cavalry, which is supposed to make them a lot more viable against particularly early French uh, cavalry units, late game French, making these spearmen a lot stronger, especially with, you can do efficient production and crank these bad boys out. I'm I, This is an A or S tier bug. I haven't like explicitly been playing with the braced spearmen with other civilizations to like really say... Oh yeah, this is extremely hurting Delhi. Uh, is it A or S tier? Uh, I, I'm almost leaning towards it. It could be an S tier tier bug. That's like a big, big part of your military, especially in the second uh, second age. I think it's S tier. I think we're gonna have room for some A tier. I think this is pretty big. I mean, Feudal Age, I mean, how many of your games make it past Feudal Age? There's a lot of games where you're just in Feudal Age and having a key, like one of your only military options uh, to be severely, uh, you know, it's supposed to be your counter for cavalry and it, the fact that it is getting trampled all the time because it's not bracing. Uh, I think this is uh, this is S tier buck. So we're going to put that there. Okay, next one is our second Spearman. I'm just going to throw this on here. Uh, it is... Hardened Spearman now takes seven times longer to research. <laughs> so, seven times longer to research? Pre-patch was five times larger, and according to the patch, it should be 3.5 times longer. So it was supposed to be decreased, and now it is longer. Uh, I think that's an A tier. I, oh, yeah, that's, that's almost an S tier too. I mean, why are these but Like, that, that, that ties up your research time, like, your time at that barracks. Oh my gosh, is that an is that an S tier also? I feel like it's gonna be like bugs or S tier or the C tier, like so we're, how we're gonna like. Is it, it feels like it's usually an extreme when it comes to them. I think that's a huge one. That's a absolutely huge bug. So there we go, Spearman, probably the most bugged thing right now of Delhi. Uh, but in addition to the research rate related bugs, uh, let's see what else there is. The only tier list where you see Pike show an S tier twice. <laughs> I hope someone's like skipping ahead in this video on YouTube and it's like, why? Is this? I can see the comments already. Hey, you messed up. There's two Spearmen in S tier. Are they like, they just go to the ending instead of like actually uh, watching? <laughs> okay. Um, now someone's going to definitely write that in the comments since I mentioned it. <laughs> so, okay. Nine. Sanctity. Okay. Where's Sanctity? Right there. Sanctity takes five times to research when it should be 3.5. Uh, honestly, the biggest issue with Sanctity now, in my opinion, is the fact that, fact that they just balanced it out of the Dark Age, which isn't necessarily a bug. They specifically made it so you can't get it to feudal. And so taking 3.5 times longer, though it, it is impactful, uh, it's not like I, I it's the, the knee jerk reaction to say it's an S tier bug because we all miss Sanctity in the Dark Age. But uh, this, this is not a balanced tier list. This is a bug tier list. Um, so I think that this is either an A or B tier bug. Um, it takes longer to get Sanctity than you're supposed to be able to. I think it's just long enough that it makes it irrelevant to the fact that you can research this and get this in feudal age because by the time that you actually get it done it's like you should potentially probably be heading to the castle age um or something's going on i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it b i'm gonna b because i feel like it's kind of well i'm going to a i think it's a because i think it pretty much nullifies any chance you had at getting sanctity in the second age yes it's still possible if you have a really long feudal age but i think it's pretty important that you should be able to get this and leverage the map and uh right now it's going to take so long to get this with the increased uh, time so i think it's a i think it's definitely a chat do we agree there i see uh a few a's few a's i think i got it right i think i got it right thanks there for the follow ha set ha ha za ha ha za hopefully that's it okay on to the next one Piety is taking... <laughs> Woo! Okay, Piety is this one, I believe, is what's representing Piety. is taking 15 times larger to research when it should be three. Now, somebody uh, jogged my memory for Piety. What, which, wait, what exactly does Piety do? I can't remember. So this takes 15 times longer. Oh, it's this one. I got the wrong one. Okay, Hourglass. Uh, is this the healing one or is it the amount of health they get? Healing speed. Okay, 15 times larger. I mean, that is ridiculous. Anything, like, that's S-tier bug. S-tier bug. That, that, not only does that, like, 
waste your time at your mosque like to get other texts like using the scholars and healing is something you should be able to do rather early on um especially if you've got a bunch of scholars in there uh it's plus 40 hp herbal medicine is healing speed yeah it's hp yeah okay yeah i i that's good i think i think it's s tier that's insane times 15 uh let's keep that there there we go on to the next one herbal medicine okay there's herbal medicine definitely there uh, so herbal medicine is the one that makes you heal faster, right? Heals faster is taking five times longer to research when it should be three times. <laughs> I feel like since this one's 15 times and this one's five times, it just by that definition should be in the A tier. Even though like I would almost put this in S tier, I think it's that's A tier. Uh, any, any of these things that are just like drastically improving, like making your, your research times worse are, are huge impacts um, in my opinion. Uh, you don't think they're super impactful. They are. Like, if, if you don't think they're super impactful, it's because you have not been using your scholars in combat to heal your units. Um, they really can make the edge, especially when you take Talar Offense, which are like, elephants are generally bad, but if you can like really stack some scholars healing them, like that's what gives you the best shot of actually making them viable. Not to mention, you know, healing up a knight, healing up a, a man at arms, like expensive unit, this is where you get your edge. Like, you, you should be late game. Like, the problem is, you should be able to get your text faster so then you can take the, the calculated risk of ejecting them from your buildings and then sending them in with your army to deal out some healing. Um, and if they take way too long, I think this is A tier. I think this is A tier. Any texts that are like super long, it's a big impact. Uh, okay. Oh, now this one. Hone Blades. Right to the top. Hone Blades is taking 15 times lo longer to research when it should be times five. This is what's supposed to give your knights and your man arms plus three attack. Uh, it now takes 15 times longer to research. So you're supposed to be able to get this in the third age at your uh, house of knowledge. And basically, you're not going to be getting this tech anytime soon. I don't think it's even worth going the house of knowledge. This was the only reason even to go for it in the first place. And now you're just like never going to get this tech. I skip it every time now and go for uh, the compound of the defender. So S tier, absolutely. The S tier, the, the Sist of tier is going to Hone Blades. Yeah, I would honestly put Hone Blades. I'd put Hone Blades and this one in an S plus tier if we had it. Should we add an S plus for them? Uh, there we go. We're going to do it. There it is, baby. Let's, uh, oh, sh what did I do? I edited the wrong one. This one is S tier. Okay. And then we got S plus. This is going to be what color should this one be? Uh, we're gonna go pink. We're gonna go pink there. S plus. This is going to be Hone Blades, and I'm gonna put. I, I think that one goes in there too. S plus tier bugs. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Scholars reduction to research time is broken. Pre patch, you needed nine scholars to reduce from times five to normal time. Now you need 10 to reduce times three times, 11 to reduce 3.5 times, and 15 to reduce from five to, and 58 to reduce from 15 times. So when a tech is taking 3.5 times to research still, it's taking longer to research because scholars reduction time is broken. This is a huge impact. Uh, uh, is this S plus? Uh, I mean, you need insane amount of scholars to do, like the, the core mechanic of the Civ is broken. Core mechanic of the civilization. That's S plus. I feel like we're going to get like more, more fired up as we go. And we're going to be like, yeah, we need an S plus plus plus. And we're going to add like a new letter. We're going to invent a new letter. Like we're going to get so far up here. <laughs> I mean, that's huge. Um, when we come back, when we finish, we'll go back through and make sure I got it all right. See if anything needs an adjustment. Which bug is represented by the scholar symbol? The research times. They aren't being reduced by the amount they say they're supposed to be. So you're supposed to be able to make up for the fact you got slower free text by using your scholars and your with, with your with your with your uh moss, but it's not actually reducing the correct amount, meaning your texts are still taking really, really long to research. So this is huge. It's a it's a, a core mechanic of the sieve. Okay, next one. You can animation cancel the attack of the elephants to increase their DPS. This is the only bug I think we've come through so far that actually benefits Delhi. That actually benefits Delhi. You can you can cancel the animation 
of the attack of the elephants to increase their DPS. I I I think it's the the attack is the sword what represents this? I think I can go with the sword. I'm checking out what we have left. I, I think it's supposed to be uh I think it's the sword. The sword, what do you guys think? Um I, I think it's the attack one. Now, considering this is the only bug that positively impacts Delhi, and we said this was going to be like negative to least impact, it's doing it, it or is it based off impact? Because it does impact. It, it's not that big of a thing, though. Like, it, I, who, who's using this bug a ton? I don't think I've done it. Like, I've maybe done it one time. I've done it with scouts a little bit. I think D tier. Because so that you can cancel the attack animation of elephants to attack faster, assuming they even make it to a building to attack. Thank you so much for the follow, and this is considering you even make elephants, right? Okay, on to the next one. Now, I, I don't think I have. Okay, yes, here it is. Keeps are supposed to get a free weapon emplacement according to Tech Tree, but do not. What? Keeps are supposed to get a free weapon emplacement. Do I have an icon for this? Uh, I don't think I even have an icon for this one, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. One slipped through the cracks. Uh, supposed to get a free weapon emplacement according to Tech Tree. And you know, to be honest, though, it's hard to say because some of those Tech Tree descriptions are bugged. So it's hard to say if this is truly a bug or if it's just an incorrect Tech Tree uh, uh, tooltip. And to be honest, I, I think. I don't think they probably intended this to actually make it out to the game because I think we've realized that with Compound Defender, keys can actually be quite strong. I, I think that would like make Compound Defender, like it could just be pretty crazy if these keeps are spawning uh, with, with the automatic uh, emplacement, a uh, free weapon emplacement according to Tech Tree. Uh, I think maybe it's not supposed to be, be there. I think it's safe to say all the keep things can be combined and uh, it keeps an S plus. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Yeah, we're fine. We're, we'll keep this here. Okay. On to the next one. Armored Beast Tech. Okay, that's this one. I'm just going to put it on here. This is not where I'm placing it. Armored Beast Tech gr says grant plus three armor to war elephants. Plus three el armor. War elephants and tower elephants. Actual effect is plus three melee plus three range armor to only war elephants. Huh, that's kind of a uh, an interesting one. Plus three are so it's supposed to give you plus three to war elephants when it's and tower elephants. It's only helping the tower elephants. Um, and its actual effect is plus three melee and plus three arm range, which I think it actually makes it stronger for war elephants. Um, apparently the dev says uh, it never was for tower elephants, so this might be a tooltip issue. Um, this might be in is this actually working as intended? I wonder. Is it working as intended? Um, let's go. I, I think it's unclear, like if this is necessarily a tooltip bug or whatever. I'm gonna put this in D tier right now, just because it's it's a little unclear if this is, is truly even a bug. Maybe it's giving actually additional armor to the war elephants. If I'm understanding this correctly, that's supposed to. If it's giving ranged and melee armor, uh. It's hard to say. So I'm going to leave that one in D tier. That, that one's, I, I almost could have had a category of like uh, to be determined, I feel like, for some of them. Okay, on to the next one. Slow burning defenses keep... Uh, so it's this one. The slow burning defenses uh, keep technology. Uh, wait, wait a second. Now I'm looking at these two. What am I missing here? Uh, I'm going to come back to that. Uh... Oh, I know it is. I know it is. Okay, I know it is. Uh, slow burning defenses keep tech not available until Imperial Age. Tech tree slows it available in Castle Age. I'll be honest. I don't think that's really a tech I even go to. Like, even if all say like all the keep research times like were not were fixed, right? They were doing what they're supposed to. Uh, I'm spending my time in earlier ages researching. Uh, researching the, the the talent center ability, researching uh, uh, boiling, uh, maybe getting an emplacement. I don't think burning defenses is something I would even get that early. So while it could be, I mean, I think since it is something, I, I, I maybe C tier, because it could be something if you really wanted to buff up those keeps and you had a ton of scholars ready to go. Um, what do you guys think? Is this a C tier bugs? 
Uh, so again, one more time. This is for the slow burning defenses for keep tech. It's not available until the Imperial Age. It shows it's available in the tech tree. Actually, you know what, guys? I would not be surprised. This seems like another instance of a tooltip. I think this is a they 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 wanted it to be Imperial Age. They just didn't upgrade update the tooltip. Um, if we had a, a tier list of like okay tooltip bugs, <laughs> um, I'm gonna put it in D. I think it's a, a D tier uh, um, bug. Okay, next one. We're almost we're almost at the end here, guys. Now, one tricky thing. I appear to have more icons left than I have things on my list. So this is gonna be interesting. Infantry. Uh, Infantry will begin constructing stone walls after finishing a palisade. If the foundation of the stone wall is already made, it already... Uh, so this, this is basically you're able to use compound defender without having compound defender by building a stone wall with a, a villager and then placing uh, a palisade wall close to it. They'll finish the palisade wall and they'll go over and finish the stone wall. Um, now let's remember, guys. Remember, this is supposed to be like this is the most negative impacted... Uh, bugs. This would be like, okay, this isn't really hurting. This is, in fact, helping Delhi. Um, I'll, I'll again say, these are the only two bugs that actually are a positive uh, positive impact on Delhi. I think this is a, a, a D tier. D tier. So it's, it's, it is a beneficial bug. Uh, this is probably the most helpful bug Delhi has. And honestly, it's a bug. I almost feel like I just wish Delhi straight up had this ability. <laughs> but it would probably be too strong. I don't think it's a very hard bug to execute. I've done it. Uh, I mean, I, I would never, ever do this against a French player in a ranked game, guys. You'll never see me do this. Okay. Turning off... Next one. Turning off automatic tower elephant production. So that's what this. It automatically produces... I'm just going to place it here. Automatically produces tower elephants, right? This is in the fourth age. Turning off the automatic production of the tower elephant uh, in the palace of the sultan will lower the current elephant's production time to one minute, regardless of the number of garrison scholar. If micro, the landmark can consistently generate a tower elephant once per minute. So this is again, another positive bug for Delhi. So for that reason, we're going to put it in the D tier list. Uh, just because this something's gonna help you out. I don't think, I mean, I don't know who's sitting there. Are you guys, is anyone out there actually uh, microing the, uh, I mean, you could easily do this if you want to sit there and keep clicking it, I guess, to get more tower elephants. I don't usually want more tower elephants <laughs> in general. Um, I'm usually wanting pop space for something else. Um, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I have heard people talk about it. Um, yeah, so I think D tier, D tier, definitely where it goes. Okay, um, the next one says hone blades either be we already talked about hone blades i don't think this is actually it okay now here's the real question uh i think i might have skipped one on accident because i see fire arrows uh wait a second i know oh i, I skipped this one tower elephants aren't being affected by the incendiary arrows tech tree from the madrasa okay this is gonna be up here i mean this is a a, a huge upgrade uh for those elephants to be missing but to be honest I don't think tower elephants, the, just because of the fact that they just aren't great, they, they aren't probably your strongest units in general. Uh, I'm not sure if that can be rated much higher than A. Um, I, I think I think I, I think it's going to go in A. So this is going to be uh, the fact that tower elephants aren't getting the incendiary incendiary arrow upgrade. So unfortunately, it's because of the balance of how, even though you would think it'd be a big impact on the core unit of their military, the elephants just aren't very strong. So that's going to have to go in A. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Uh, four. No idea what that represents. And we have a little timer, which represents something. So uh, I think these are going to be our unnamed ones. I'm happy with this. I think this is it. I'm sure there are even more bugs. Uh, let's look at it one more time. So starting at the bottom, these are are things that either benefit Delhi or just are, they, they don't actually negatively impact you that much, uh, or it's just like, because the balance is so bad, it doesn't actually equate to a negative impact. So this would be the canceling attack speed, the armor changes. I, I think this is just a tooltip bug. I don't think it's actually a bug, hard to say. Um, this is, I think, a tooltip bug, not being able to get the fu the, the fire defenses early. Uh, Stonewall, this is a positive. I just described this in the... Uh, uh, this was the the messing around with getting more tower elephants, which I don't think people are really doing in the first place. Um, I guess the tier four 
landmark icons are interchanged, aren't they? Um, are you talking about these ones? Did I skip the? Uh, did I mix these two up? Is that what happened? Maybe. Who knows? Is what it is. Uh, oh, I switched these two. Okay, there we go. We had the uh, the the Hisar and Palace icons mixed up apparently. There we go. There we go. They're all the same, anyways. They're just all bad landmarks. <laughs> Okay, and uh, in C tier, this is the Tower of Victory, aka the Tower of Defeat. This is Zeal, uh, which is for uh, for for buffing or empowering your units. Um, which, uh, and then this is also the uh, this is the what is this one? This is the. I mean, I keep oh, this is Hisar in the palace. So this is the Hisar. Um, this would be generation. If this was gold, I would say it's a lot higher. But you only get food, not a big deal. Tower elephant just being bugged in general. Uh, it's just not a huge big impact because elephants aren't. I mean, you could even say this goes lower to be honest. But it is a military unit. Any military units having uh, you know negative impacts, I think they should be a little bit higher. Um, up here, we've got uh, basically some researches for the mosque plus our incendiary for tower elephants. You know, I'd almost say this is a B tier. Uh, some th these, th this is the gray area of this tier list, I would say. But I'm gonna keep it where it is for now. Um, spearmen, uh, the the bugs that they can't brace, that hard spearmen take way longer to research. I mean, these are pretty huge bugs. I think you could even argue some of these maybe could be S plus. But I'm happy with where they are there. Uh, this is the research time being. I think it's 15 times longer here for this tech. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Just huge. Hone blades being the most bug thing. Keep research time. I'm getting the opposite impact from uh, the mosque Wi-Fi. And then our uh, our scholars, not the, the core mechanic of the fact that the scholar research time, I feel like these should be paired together. Uh, the, that the fact that it takes longer uh, than it's intended. Um, I'm happy with this tier list, guys. And uh, I think this is fun. So thank you so much to uh, BLB for compiling this list of bugs. Um, and to everyone who helped, I know there's many people in the Discord that were uh, helping with putting this together. I think it was really fun. Let me know down in the comments if you like this type of tier list or you have an idea for another uh, funny type of tier list we could do. Hopefully, we'll see this tier list of bugs change the next patch. Maybe we could just do just overall bugs for all the civs. Who knows? There's plenty of things we could do. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.